Camp is all packed up. We're heading out. We're gonna go check out Signal Peak, which is in the Gia. I'm assuming it's going to be a peak of a mountain. But since I don't know anything, I don't know anything. So Signal Peak is only about a mile or two from where we're at right now at the campground. And we're gonna go check out and see what it looks like up there. Never been there before? Don't know what. Yeah. We got. I can't go all natural. He can't go all natural. <laughs> Do you stink? So he was today trying to tell me that he's going to go all natural. It's his energy drink. <laughs> it's his energy drink. Is it gross? So he drinks a lot of energy drinks and he's trying his best to like become healthier. He's got trail pants on and he just thinks that, that that makes him who he is. So what was the kick with the energy drink thing? What happened? What, what brought you to that point? Because I thought the sugar was making me tired because right when I crack a Red Bull, I'm instantly tired. So he now, went all natural. Now I can't do it. Hmm. All right. Glad well. we bought 10 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? He bought like, yeah. It's a classic Don. So we're gonna go check out Signal Peak. And then we have the Hot Springs Campground tonight. So bring you guys along, here we go. So we're gonna air down because there's been several times recently where we didn't air down. And it was just a bumpy, bumpy ride. I don't think any of this terrain is gonna be super difficult up to Signal Peak, but it just makes more sense for us to take them on down. That way we have at least a comfortable ride. If nonetheless, we'll enjoy it a little bit more because it's already getting bumpy. It's just a regular forest road, but you never know what you're gonna run into. And I would suggest anytime you get off, if you want a comfortable ride, anytime you're off the pavement, just air them down. Not sure what you guys use to air down, but the Coyote tire deflators, freaking awesome. I'll put the link in the description if you guys wanna check them out. We haven't had any issues with them yet. And uh, you can set, like preset the PSI to exactly what you want it, which will, all you gotta do is pop it, set it to your 18 PSI, and then it automatically goes to that and you just undo it. Only problem is sometimes you'll put the front on the back and the back on the front. So put a little mark on there so you know which one's which, but they work really good. All right, signal peak, blocked off, every time. Every time we try to traverse a summit, we get stopped. At this point, I'm gonna have to say it's Jared and Morgan's fault, quite honestly. Because we're, I mean, we never get stopped. But whenever I hang out with these two, it gets me in situations. So they got a gate and it's obviously locked with a padlock. So, you know, you can't, you can't get around it. 
the adventurous part of me wants to break it, but I know better than that, and I wouldn't be that guy. So we're only up to about 9,000 feet, and it's 63 degrees. It is freaking great out here, but not gonna be able to go any further. So we're gonna have to traverse back down without being able to see the summit again. fashion we decided to explore some offshoot forest road and this time we called it quits right at the very beginning <laughs> because there were tons of switchbacks heading down I'm assuming a mountainside and I just I know it's already 3 30 we get stuck in something we don't get back till 8 and it turns this whole day into a downward spiral but the Gia Gila we don't know. Gila, Gila, whatever, is vast. It's massive and it's beautiful. We're on a scenic byway headed up to the hot spring campground. And I mean, it's as far as the eye can see in every direction, nothing, just mountain peaks and forest. It's, it's extremely beautiful. So we're gonna take off back up to the campground, hopefully and uh, see what that's all about. Hopefully there's a cold spring, too. Just a spring that's cold. Uh -huh. That'd be nice. Then I feel you're gonna be freezing. Yeah, it probably would be freezing. Coming from probably a mountain. Nah, don't worry about that, Beth. Not a big deal. Clouds on a rainy day. Oh, the fire in the hills, and I'm headed your way. Oh, it's alright, baby, don't be afraid. I'm just giving heads up from a dangerous way. Shell looking for the lead. Okay, we made it. Gila. 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 Cut and start. Gila Hot Spring. Gila. Campground. Guy's really nice. People. Really nice so far. There's a problem though. Just figured this out. Clothing's optional after dark. So if you got your kids, 
and you bring them here, I think you know what I'm getting at. There could be some uh, unforeseen circumstances. So just keep keep your mind wrapped around that. But what are you doing tonight, babe? What, what's, are we actually doing this tonight? Yeah. Well, tell me about it. Dutch oven chili mac. Dutch oven chili mac. And we think we understand how to do this, but the problem is there's no service, which is actually not a problem. But we're going to do our best to try to figure out the recipe. It can't be that difficult. So oh, we're, we're going to go through that. And then Donald McDonaldson, what's on, uh, what's your Dutch oven recipe? It's really just s'mores in the Dutch oven. It's really Angel just food cake. Angel food cake? With, yeah, with s'mores on top. My hair's all whacked out. Angel food cake with s'mores on top in the Dutch oven. So if you right by camp, there is the river. Unfortunately, the river's not flowing, which kind of stinks, but it is really pretty to have it right behind you. And there's like an abandoned mine house. I don't know, up there. But it's $32 for the night. And that two vehicles, and there's three hot pools here. They're not hot, they're warm, but that's good because it's pretty warm here today. We're dropped elevation to about 5,000, 5,500, 5,400 feet. So we're going to enjoy the hot pools, cook a dinner and a really good dessert, and hang out with Jared and Morgan for the last night because they're headed out, headed home. And we're going to continue on an adventure. I'm not really sure where we're going, but here we go with the Chili Mac. There's no dishes involved. <laughs> I mean, there's several yeah. dishes involved. Not as many as usual. Yeah, that's good. Mm. You gonna yeah. put some sour cream on it? Good. And if we have jalapeno, yeah. So we're supposed to put red onion on it mm -hmm. after it's cooked. Red onion, jalapeno, mm -hmm. sour cream, cheese. Yeah, yeah crunchy good. onions on top. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a masterpiece, Don. We'll see. See how it turned out, huh? Get it out of there, pick that up at the towel, dump the coals back oh. in, and hope she's done. Oh, it's hot. Ow. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> straight in her face for <laughs> two minutes. <laughs> hey babe. Hi. It's extremely bright. I know, it's like sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> Both Dutch oven recipes were a success. They were really good. Jared and the s'mores recipe. I mean, that was uh, fantastic. The chili mac recipe? 20 out of 10. Freaking fantastic. Dutch oven, I, I was extremely scared to learn how to use the Dutch oven, but... <laughs> but it was great. Everything was great. I was just trying to... This light is so bright, I just feel like... 
Yeah, I feel like we need a softer light. So the hot springs, being able to lay in front of the hot, in the hot springs, in front of the moon, underneath the moon and the stars, unbelievable. I bet. <laughs> you weren't there? I mean, I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I wasn't laying like you guys were. Hey, we were, Garrett and I were maxed out. There's only, what, 12, I think, campsites here? Yeah. So it's not super busy. The, the last one we were, the one we were in was the biggest. It's really close to our camp. And there's no day use here because of the whole COVID situation. So it's only the people that camp here. I can imagine that when day use is pro permitted, that it's pretty it's pretty crazy around here. I just don't think I would want to get in it during the day because it was like 86 when we got Yeah, it was really warm today, but it cooled down a lot tonight. So we're going to enjoy this last night in front of the fire with Jared and Morgan. And then tomorrow, I really don't know where we're going. Haven't really thought too much into it, but today was a good day. We didn't really do much trails. We didn't see much of anything. We got cut off at the pass. So it was a- Shocker. Yeah. We had, we had to, to turn around. We had to do the old whoop de woo. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you guys like the video, like the video. If you don't, why do I look my arm though? If you don't like the video, don't do anything. Just go to a different video and watch that. And if you haven't, subscribe to the channel so you can see more stuff like this.